The Agni-5 and Agni Prime missiles are the latest missiles in India's arsenal with some of the advanced and latest technologies incorporated into it. On 11th March 2024, a significant milestone on India's missile program was achieved when PM Narendra Modi announced to the whole world about the Agni-5 missile's MIRV capability. Less than a month after testing Agni-5 missile with MIRV capability, DRTU has tested Agni Prime missile on 3rd March 2024. The test was conducted in night and being reported that missile was tested with MIRV and MIRV capability. However, it has not been officially confirmed. In today's video, we'll explore in detail about the capabilities of upcoming Agni Prime missile. Agni Prime is the newest generation nuclear missile in Agni series featuring some of the cutting-edge technologies which are not present in the previous series of Agni missile. The missile features new composites, propulsion systems, innovative guidance and control mechanism. The missile's unique technology makes it lighter, stealthier, more accurate and difficult to intercept. Agni Prime is a two-stage canisterized solid propellant ballistic missile capable of carrying payload of up to 1000 kg with a range between 1000 to 2000 km. The two-stage solid fuel weapon system also comes with new propulsion system composite motor casing. DRDU has perfected the use of composite material as a part of Agni-5 program and same has been incorporated in the first and second stages of Agni Prime missile. This allows for significant weight reduction in the missile. Another notable feature of this missile is dual redundant navigation and guidance system which greatly boosts the missile accuracy. It features a ring laser gyro based inertial navigation system and a modern micro navigation system borrowed from Agni-5. Agni Prime features a maneuverable re-entry vehicle MARV, which allows missile to maneuver at its entry point into Earth's atmosphere. This feature is usually not available in ballistic missiles. The MARV is also equipped with four delta fins, which enables it to dodge the missile defense system, making it very difficult to intercept. Agni Prime MARV's delta fins look very similar to US Common Hypersonic Glide Vehicle Mark 1. This design of Agni P MARV will allow it to achieve higher maneuverability at hypersonic speed. The Agni P's MARV also enables the missile to deliver the warhead to two different locations. The missile is stored securely inside a tandem dual canister launcher that has been hermetically sealed and it is transported via road and rail. It employs a system of cold launch and has ability to fire in salvo mode. Since the missile is a canister launched, it can be easily transported and quickly deployed via rail or road as per the operational requirement. The missile can also be stored for a longer period of time. One of the goals for the development of Agni Prime is to obtain maximum maneuverability against missile defense system while also achieving improved accuracy for precision strikes which makes it ideal for aircraft carrier killing missile. As per the former DRDO chief, Agni Prime has capability to kill moving target, which means the missile features a MARV and it can hit aircraft carriers and maneuverable warships. DRDO is also working on developing a 1500km range conventionally armed ballistic missile with an anti-ship capability and it is expected to be based on Agni Prime. Beside aircraft carriers, the new ballistic missile can also target land-based assets across the LSE in Xinjiang, Tibet and Yunnan provinces. Due to its range, the new missile will provide deterrence against the adversary's carrier strike group and at the same time protect its own aircraft carrier. 
On 7 June 2023, India has successfully conducted the first pre-induction night launch of this missile, which will pave the way for its induction into armed forces. The test demonstrated that Agni Prime is prepared for an anti-ship mission and also has an increased quick response and accuracy. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.